Yeah, and unfortunately, we got rained out of Friday's game with San Marcos, and those games actually got pushed to Sunday, so we we're fortunate enough to keep those games around. St. Catherine had to cancel out on us due to uh, rain on their field, but you know, after a day off on Friday, we came back at it, and we knew what we were getting into with Concordia Irvine. Right now, they're ranked ninth in the nation. Uh, their pitcher, number one pitcher they threw against us, is just lights out. I mean, she's tremendous in the circle. She has great field presence. Uh, she came at us with her rise ball, and we just we weren't able to make the adjustments we needed to in the box uh, to be effective against her. We did bounce back, however, in game two, and uh, dropped that game three to one. I thought we did a much better job, um, you know, with our approach in the box, and then defensively we were super solid there as well. Uh, we took those two games, rolled over the next day into San Marcos, and once again weather played a little bit of a part, but because we practiced in it pretty much yeah. on the daily, I felt like we had the advantage there and. Um, you know, we, our pitching was good. It was great all weekend. And in game two against um, San Marcos, we were a little rain short there in the fifth. And so the game ended up being 5-3. It should have been. At the time it got rained out, it was like 13-2 to two at the time. But anyways, it reverts back. But our bats were just lights out that game. Hannah Self had a home run in that, and I'm pretty sure it hasn't even landed yet. Yeah. <laughs> um, but overall, you know, I'm, I'm satisfied. You know, you could take a look at our record, and it's not really translating over to wins right now. But most of the competition we were playing are ranked, whether it's NAIA or Division II within the nation in the top, you know, 15. So I'm satisfied with the progress that we made. I think, you know, our, our pitching alone has made tremendous progress from the Vegas games on to where we finished up this past uh, weekend. You know, Sally Bowles in particular has moved into our number one spot. She's our starting pitcher and she's out there in the nation. I think right now she's um, eighth in the nation in strikeouts to walk ratio and just doing a great job. You know, she limits the amount of walks, puts the balls around the strike zone and forces their hitters to put the ball in play. Uh, on the flip side of that, we are also ranked in the nation, fifth in the nation right now in double plays. So, you know, that allows our defense, which is solid, to take effect. And just, um, you know, from there, as long as we're swinging good bats, which, you know, right now it's been highs and lows on the offensive side of things, but we put a lot of effort to it this week in practice. And, um, you know, hopefully we'll see good turnouts for this weekend. Yeah, so we had uh, year three on uh, the tournament here. We have an 18 tournament, uh, four NCAA schools all within conference, and then uh, four NCAA Division II schools. So we'll kind of battle head to head on that and looking at very solid competition again. We got Eastern Oregon that we'll open up with, followed up by Corbin on Friday. Saturday we'll play Northwest, and then Sunday we have Simpson again, which we've seen twice. So. Hopefully throughout the course of that, we can uh, you know, keep moving with the progress that we've had. We have great energy right now. Today's practice was tremendous, and hopefully we get the results we're looking for.